Hey YouTube. Um, I did did finally I have a bunch of dust on my face from cutting pipe and stuff, but I finished it. Modified ERTL pump action shotgun. It's fairly nice. It's not the same as Coops. I have to reopen it and get it done once I have like the breach and everything set up. I have to put the brass inside the funnel piece which because it's not in there and I don't have to fill the top glue. No springs addition yet. I have a night find a spring and some spring I don't know what it is. Ready to go in. Might be a Maverick spring, but I'm not sure. Right now, since I don't have my breach done, I'm just using this is my barrel. Small amount of C P V C with a half inch C P V C coupler. It's, um, the only reason I did this today is because I'm pretty much snowed in. You can see outside. It's pretty bad. Don't know if you can. There was, like, nothing on the ground an hour ago, but it just started, and that's, like, three inches. But, yeah, it's modified ERTL pump action shotgun. It does suction load, so you have to cock it before you load your barrel. Just stick your dirt in. Stick your one coupler inside the other. Not too tight because it won't come out, but pretty good straight too. Uh, I don't know if you heard that, but don't put it in too tight because it won't come out and make sure it's straight. But yeah, I'm just going to shoot real fast. This time you'll see me shoot it. It's definitely shiznip. I think I might got my CPC couple. So. Oh. That's not good. Okay, got it. But yeah, uh, I think I might just mess something up on the inside. I moved the funnel piece around now. But. I'm, I'm, I'm going to make the breach permanent on this. Probably you'll be able to see me shoot this time. You can see both. Can't see it, but the dart came down. Follow my barrel. Came down like that and hit the chair. Dart I was using. Stepping. White hot glue. One and a half inches. I might have to glue that funnel piece in because that's not good. It still works, so. Or I might just glue the coupler around the edge with hot glue. No, that won't let me open. I'll just glue the funnel piece in. But I don't know how big this is. My dart's one and a half inches, so. Three inches. Four and a half. Six, seven and a half inch barrel right now. It's gonna have more around uh, 11, 10, 10 inch barrel probably of. Barrel's probably gonna be like, I don't know, 17, 30 seconds. Oh my shot. Yeah, it's pretty nice. I'm like in 13, I like root beer. That's pretty much all. I'll check my workshop, but my mobile camera's not working. So I'm using one on my computer. Just an overall view. I got the barrel. Just fell out. Um, Sports did 32. Subscribe to me. Also, I subscribed to him, so he subscribed to me. Now you should try. Watch, watch some of his videos. Some of them are a little hard to hear at the beginning, but your ears are all adjusted. It gets better. So, yeah. It's pretty much all. Video is 4.40. I hate this on this gun. I tried to move this little switch here. I'm like, it, it's broken. And then I found out it was fake. I hated that. But this is a little rounded. It looked like a real shotgun. And... It's a little confusing to get back together, but once you 
do it fairly easy the second time or third time. Um, I might have to reshoot this if I'm not talking loud enough. My throat hurts though. Mm, the only tool I use on this is my Dremel and screwdriver. And yeah, that's all you need. A Dremel with a cutting disc and a sanding disc and a screwdriver with <coughs> with uh, small Phillips. Um, it's getting even worse outside. I don't want to go out. Um, yeah, that's all. Nice gun. That's fun. <coughs> oh, one more shot just for the heck of it. I mean... I wish I could do ranges, but this barrel's not accurate, so I'll break the window probably over there. Don't stick it in too far. Just shoot the chip. Shut the barrel out. So yeah. That's all. Adios.